Steve. I'm how's your day been so far? Really good, really good. Um, I actually only just got here about an hour ago. Just flew in from Lincoln, so I'm pretty blown out by everything that's happened. And yeah, just trying to take it all in. And I believe your beautiful girlfriend Sarah today is hosting the girls of it. She certainly is. Yes, my, my poor girlfriend is very stressed out at the moment. <laughs> just caught up with her for the first time in a couple of days, and uh, yeah, no, but she's done. So she's she has been. I've been watching yeah, her run around. I don't know how she does it, man. I, I couldn't <laughs> deal with it. So how do you think um, the tattoo industry has changed from when you first started? Uh, I've, I've seen a, a lot of change. Uh, absolutely. Like, uh, I think I've like maybe seven years, but just... I don't know, for, I guess from when I started, it seems, I don't know if it's just been important, it just seemed quite a bit uh, segregated and closed off. And now it's like everybody's just this big happy team and family and everyone gets along and loves each other. And it's so good, isn't it, when it's yeah. like that? Who did you do your apprenticeship with? I was fortunate enough to do my apprenticeship under Byron Dreschel. Yes, Byron. Obviously the organiser of the show, so um, yeah, I still count my blessings every day. But Helped me out and in every way possible, and just pretty much helped me to be who I am today. Now, you're an amazing artist, and I know you love yeah. to do realism, but is there any other style that you like to do? Uh, yeah, I, I'm pretty open to anything. Really, uh, any, anything just really weird, kind of twist on it. Like uh, any, anything horror. Um, I'm trying to branch out a lot more into a bit more, not traditional, but just sort of semi, kind of realistic, but a bit fat in there as well. And yeah, just, just looking at different stuff. So what machines do you like to use? Oh, it's pretty <laughs> self-explanatory, but I eject it. That's, that's all I use. That's all I've ever used. I, uh, again, starting with iron, I was fortunate to start on injector and I've tried you know every other machine under the sun but there's just really nice compared to that so yeah no very very lucky to be on the team and uh, just part of that big happy family. Next question is <laughs> which I know the answer might be but <laughs> who do you look up to in the industry? Too many? So, yeah, <laughs> so there is a very, very gigantic list of names, yeah. but um, just based all my peers and um, everyone that I've just tattooed around and been fortunate enough to work with, and you know, they've all inspired me and helped me in one way or another. But um, you know, obviously, it's great. Uh, Paul Lapp is probably my biggest sort of oh, absolutely. work, but um, just all the objective guys, really, like they're constantly just pushing things further and further, and they just make you want to step up. and Try something new and do the next best thing. Now I can see you're very quite heavily tattooed. <laughs> can you tell us any pieces that are your favourite or I would probably have to go my back piece extension, my favourite from Benjamin Lucas. Yeah, and no, I was very, very lucky to snatch that off of him and give him two days for him. And it's, yeah, I think it was like three or four years ago, but still, yeah, just sucks like that too. <laughs> so how old were you when you first started, like, dabbling in drawing in that? Uh, since I could pick up a pencil, really. That's all I've ever really done is um, just drawn and uh, all I was ever really interested in school and art and stuff. I didn't, I didn't really know what to do with it. I didn't think you could really make money or Yeah, again, lucky enough, right place, right time. So, do you have any other hidden talents other than tattoos and drawing? Uh, I don't even think I'm really that <laughs> talented at drawing or tattooing, but no, no definitely not. Way too much. <laughs> no, no, just. <laughs> and what music do you like to normally listen to whilst you're tattooing? I, I love to change it up. It goes from <laughs> Motley Crue to Suicide Silence to Jimmy Cash. 
so awesome. <laughs> a bit of everything. So you've got a bit of variety. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, no, it's, it's a bit of a journey with some of the stuff made, I'd say. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for uh, um, chatting with us today, and I'm going to go and watch the girls a bit later on and watch your beautiful lady up on stage. No, no, I will certainly do the same thing. Thank, thank you so much for having me. Yeah. Awesome, dude. Uh, <laughs> thank you.